Time to get Monday drunk. Oh, that's good. What do we got here, Mr. Shawnee Boy? Luponic Distortion IPA series from the legendary Firestone Walker. Uh, Firestone Walker, I believe, is in Northern California. Mm. Whoa, dude, what? They're trying to tell me that they got lions fighting bears yeah, out dude, there? Yeah, dude, Paso Robles, California, that's where that happens. Whoa, dude, I'm trying to see that battle royale. What do you think of the beer? I think it's interesting. Um, I like it. Pina colada, key lime, and nectarine. I mean, if I'm like, give me three things. Those wouldn't be near the top of the list, but I'm not no. mad about it. And I'm also not actually getting hints of those. It tastes like <laughs> beer to me. You gotta be a real sommelier of craft beer to be like, is, is that key lime? <laughs> uh, key lime. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the old hormone monster. This doesn't feel good. <laughs> the rudest thing you could have ever said to me. Well, the way <laughs> I thought you were doing an impression. In 2019, we filmed 12 different Fuego Box hot sauce reviews, and we also remember that chocolate piece. Ooh, that's right. A lot of fun work with Fuego Box in 2019. Uh, keeping it going with something here today. Another three pack when you sign up with FuegoBox.com forward slash with cheese, you get 50% off your first box. Well, that's just stupid. That's just too good of a deal yeah. to pass off. Yeah, because we love it. We've been doing this forever, and then we also get a kickback. Kick back, kick back. Random reference, Scotty, Scotty Sire. I'm a little antisocial in these social situations, but when I'm on the stoop, sipping on booze is like vacation. Oh, I, I've heard of him. I watched one of his vlog videos squad. recently. Talking about how much money he loses. Yeah. Um, but yeah, support us, support Fuego Box, we're a small company out in California, and uh, we're trying to get our hot sauce in here, so <laughs> put on a good word. All right, what's our first sauce? Today we're starting off with Nam Prick. Uh, it sounds like a rude thing to say, Nam Prick. But yeah, this is part of their reserve batch chili sauce. It's got fish water in it, so I'm interested <laughs> to see how that tastes. <laughs> how nervous are you right Literally now? the first ingredient, let me tell you what it is, fish sauce. She oh, good. it smells like the ocean. That's it. <laughs> Give it a whiff. No. Cheers. <laughs> oh, it's good. It doesn't have a fishy taste to me. It tastes like it was cold. a sauce you would dip like fish in. It's got a little bit of like a saltwater, seawater, sea. Yeah, I feel like I just took a dip in the Atlantic. Good kick though. That's kind of hot. Yeah, it's got a really good kick. You want to talk about what we're doing second? Seed Ranch. Flavor companies, smoked jalapeno hot sauce with dates, cumin, and fresh carrots. Dude, people are getting interesting with their their ingredient choices. You know why? Why is that? Sauce is made in Boulder, Colorado. Dude, I'm not kidding you. Great label. I went hiking in Boulder last year, and a mother and little daughter were hiking, and I heard the daughter say, Mom, can I have some apricots and dates? And I turned around, and just a six-year-old because they're raised in Colorado, knows and regularly eats dates and apricots. There's something weird where I love a kid doing that because I am for like healthy, I don't think you should be it's eating a good point. just sugar grains. I wasn't asking for McDonald's, but, it wasn't asking for McDonald's yeah, fries. But I don't like when adults do it because I know when adults are saying it, it's to be pretentious. Mommy, can I have an apricot and a date? Apricot? Really? Cheers, cheers. Why did you eat it like that? Hmm? Why did you do that? I didn't want to move my arm, I wanted to move my body. How do you feel about this? I don't know if it's because that was so strong tasting. Mm -hmm. No, I think this has a lighter taste, but. Okay, I was like gonna it. say, I don't taste a lot. It's smoked, which is. Very smoky. Oh, see, so I was getting a pretty subtle one. I think it's pretty smoky. Really? Smoke, just smoke taste. Interestingly enough, this is one of my, I hate smoky stuff. Right. This is one that I actually don't mind. That's good. I'm not getting any cumin. I'm not getting any cumin, really. I want to, I want to get the cumin. I would love it. But these are things that I don't care for, but I don't mind it. For sure. Like if that was on the table, I would use it. If that was the only thing on the table, I would use it. Oh my God, yeah. It's like, most of this stuff is always like, I'd use it. I'm just, my pretentious little mouth now that I've had five million hot sauces, like I know what I like. Mm -hmm. This last one is from Hawaii. It's pineapple juice infused. Dekine Hawaiian. A portion of proceeds goes to Guardian for Heroes, founded by U.S. Navy SEAL Chris Kyle. Oh, cool. Also is made in Iwa Beach, Hawaii. 
Oh, he was. This is a runny boy. Very vinegar based. Cheers. Mmm. A lot of vinegar. Not bad for a vinegar based one, in my opinion. I love the pineapple in there. That's it's a good little heat. heat at the end. That's a very good vinegar sauce. Let's do a shout out. Merch shout out, merch shout out, merch shout out. These are all the fine human beings who support us by going to number 6 and checking out our merch section and buying some awesome goodies. It helps the show. It helps the show and we always give shout outs to anyone who purchases. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Shirt shout out number one today goes to Joel Henrique. Yeah. Thank you, thank, thank you, Joel. You come out of the area of uh, Virginia. And you bought yourself an Eat a Bit shirt, retired shirt. Hope you love it. You're one of a kind, my friend. Merch shout out number two, Mr. Rudy Ramos. Love that name. Uh, Rudy uh, comes from Clovis, California. He bought the Eat a Bit shirt. Rudy's also bought many of things. Rudy, from the yeah, bottom dude. of our hearts, thank you. Thank and you. number 6 with cheesecom will get you a thank you. Thank you. All right, we're gonna pick our favorite sauce here today individually. Let the drum rolling begin, Mr. Eric McCluskey. Thank you. Oh. oh. Okay, I knew you liked that one more than me. I, I still thought you were going this one. I know, it was super close. Nam prick. There was just something about you talking about how it was made for fish that gave me a bad taste in my mouth that made me go, I kind of like this one better. So it's somebody who like does eat fish? Yeah. Uh, in that refrigerator, I have a lot of sauces that kind of blend together. Mm -hmm. So it'd be nice to have one that is dead serious just for one. One time we oh, got like yeah. a spicy soy sauce one that I used on sushi for like yeah. two months. I like knowing what to grab. Yep, yep, what specific, uh, what do they call those little matches that they? Pairing. Yeah, specific pairing, yep, yep. I love Not that. to be confused with the pear taste from one of the more recent pizzas we did. Yep, yep. <laughs> Turns out it was cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Who would've knew? Would've knew. Not me. Well, we better finish this up before that battery dies on that camera. That's been sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll have a drink. Rudy Ramos. Rudy Ramos. <laughs>